Good morning everybody. So I am at Cheeky Studios and it's really really an exciting morning because I'm going to be filming something for ETV for the morning show. I know, I couldn't, it was an early morning, I couldn't um, explain everything and I'm talking softly because there's meetings going on around me and I'm in the coolest room because there's stuff on the walls, like things are drawn on the walls, people's names and all that. It's so exciting. It's so, so, so exciting. And yeah, so I'm going to be talking about mental health and personal development for the, the morning show. So I'm a little, I'm very nervous. There's certain things that I need to read through and look through on my phone. So I'm gonna do that now so that I can prepare myself and then hopefully someone will shoot me while I'm here. So that you can see what behind with me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very nervous. And so nervous. Now the camera guy must keep quiet. <laughs> So, so recording. Well, well, next time now we will record the format then. Yeah. Yeah. And next I can record to Linda. I sit in front of a camera, but it's different. It's different. Come this side there, bro. There's no yeah. one else. It's oh, I have on the screen. That's why I want to And I, Husani, tomorrow I'm doing a mental wellness talk. Mm -hmm. I'm better when I'm talking and I'm looking at people and moving around. So when yeah. I'm looking at, and then there's bright lights and his nerves, man. His nerves.
chunky na le di 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 oven mitts di guy put me the guy oh no couldn't you what were they in when i came back he didn't feel like he just went it's not this one why do i have an oven mitt no there was two no, it's not this one. It's not this one. Kids, kids, kids. Hee La la la. Kahali. Guys, guys. So, Diesel hates this thing that every time I take out food from the uh, oven, I always use like uh, King. The fatu, I want the oven, the fatu, so. So last week. I'm tired of you constantly bending yourself because of that oven. Jolan. Jolan, my scary balls. Hey, thanks, honey. Hey, this is uh, it's the one. It's the one. She went to different one. But hey, one get to it, but so. I want want want. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> okay. Ew. Oh, this is fun. Hey, you don't have to like worry nothing. Hey friends, I I haven't done this one for a while. Uh, and before I go any further, I am feeling so sick right now. What a wow. I'm actually wearing a mask when I'm at work or when I'm out. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to go into the office for the rest of the week. It's Wednesday today, so I'll be home um hi friends how are you we haven't done this in a while welcome welcome love you guys it's so brown outside you can actually see you can you can tell that it's actually uh winter which is so nice anyway so it's actually just been a lot guys like i'm so tired um so when this at some point in this vlog you might have seen how my week last week went um, I was at the ETV studios filming there and then the following day that was last week Thursday then the following day I I was at uh, 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 giving a talk on mental wellness at um, Olives and Plates at the embassy for uh, Duma Collective the company which was so amazing I had such a great time I ended up being there all day and I was chilling there with Theo uh theo is black house he does na ladies and myself from now on uh he does our instagram pictures and reels for so black house does our instagram posts and reels for me and na lady for when we are specifically attending certain functions so i ended up spending the uh, afternoon there with him and just hanging out we didn't have any other engagements so we just kind of hung out um 
but I think last week I was so busy at the beginning of the week I had to cancel some of my coaching sessions because at the beginning of the week it was just a nightmare and then this happened and I think again as I always say this is my body saying enough like calm down this is the second time I'm sick in the last three weeks this can't be a thing and uh, this weekend I had to uh, on Friday I was planning to go to a gynecard event which would have been just so on brand for me because hello I'm a gynecard hun right um, so I was gonna go to a gynecard event but now I can't because I'm sick and I'm coughing and all of that and then the following day I was supposed to meet up with Tandi Mzamo is, is this guy going in? Are you going in here? I'm supposed to meet up with Tandi Mzamo but uh, I'm sick I really don't want to get her sick or anything like that so I guess it is what it is you know I'm here right now to um, collect I'm here right now to collect <clears throat> some of the workbooks I have a, uh, um, I have to send them out on Friday so I am here to collect some of the workbooks at the printers and then I'm probably just gonna I need to wear a mask and then I'm probably just going to uh, get a coffee and then pop into exclusive books just do a little bit of a mosey around i haven't really gone to exclusive books in a while i really haven't it's the truth okay it's the truth and then um and then i'm gonna go home and then i'm just gonna go home you know and rest we have a four hour load shedding slot today fantastic that sounds great but it's fine i'll probably just sleep or read throughout that load uh, that four hour slot let me go get the stuff oh i picked up the uh okay so i picked up the the workbooks they're sitting in the back and they gave me an extra 20 which is so nice so if you're still looking to order the workbooks then hey man I think I might do just one more pre-order and then I'm done. Um, I'm currently planning a spring workbook and also a couple of other spring inspired things in terms of merchy, merchy kind of things. Thank you, sir, to do another workbook for spring, but not, not necessarily a workbook, a couple of things. I've got, I've got some ideas. Um, so if you haven't copped your workbook, there'll probably be one more one more pre-order to go and then i'm done i'm done i'm taking a break from the workbooks i might do one more one more but it must be a tangible sizable amount i think so far i've already sold uh i think over 80 maybe even 90 workbooks that is amazing thank you so much to everybody who has bought these workbooks um, so I'm going to do something special for the springtime as well. And I'm also thinking of doing something for uh, a winter warmer kind of thing. Uh, but I'll talk about that on another day, on another day, baby. Uh, then I popped into Motherland Coffee and picked myself up a mother cuppa. <laughs> you get it? You get it? Yeah, exactly. Picked myself up a mother cuppa and uh, a cappuccino with almond milk. That is loud, honey. That is loud. So I'm coming into Bedford Center now because I just feel like taking a walk, getting in some steps, having my coffee. Uh, gonna go to exclusive books, possibly look around. Yes, the quality of the video is not gonna be great because it's dark in here. Um, but uh, yeah, man, it's it's been a it's been an amazing time. I just feel like crap. I really feel like shit. Um, guys, if I could recommend anything, I would highly recommend, highly recommend that you put your masks back on and oh, got a great parking spot. You put your masks back on. And you sanitize your hands. Because my darling, whatever is going on in Salva right now, 
everybody be getting sick everybody i don't uh, i don't know man but anyway um so i'm gonna park just take some time to myself uh go walk around a little bit and then go home then i'm definitely gonna go home uh and i'm out of power from two till six so i'm probably gonna go home and read or nap i don't know we'll see how it goes okay we will see how it goes i don't think i need this talk to you later friends hi what's going on uh i don't think i've talked much in this video uh but that's that's okay you know that's okay i just got so wiped out that i think my body was just like enough <laughs> enough because for the second time in three weeks i got sick again i don't know how i got it i do however think that i haven't been eating the best i really <laughs> I've been eating crap food. I'm not even gonna lie. Here you go. Okay, I've been eating sweets. I don't eat as much as I should in a day. Sometimes I have one meal a day. Sometimes I have two meals a day. But I haven't been eating the healthiest, and um, I need to. I need to stop that now. Now I need to stop. Um, I think because I was just in a in a happy space, <coughs> so I wanted to eat. Things that make me happy, okay? <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, in the meantime, during that time, I did get some books from publishers. I'm not quite sure where they are. And I also bought a book as well. Let me give me a sec. I do remember opening them, but I don't quite remember what it was anymore. What I did buy for myself, um, because I love Pan-Asian fusion food. Um, so I did buy myself a recipe book from Bargain Books and it was on special. This is called Eat Clean. Uh, walk yourself to health. Do you get it? Walk, walk, work yourself to health. Get, get, get. East West approach to eating well. And this is by Chin He Huang. And uh, that's what the book looks like. And it's got all my faves at the back there, but healthily prepared. So I'm really looking forward to playing around with this recipe book trying out some of the lunch options, dinner options, um, breakfast options. It's crazy. It's got some really, really nice um, ideas. But the great thing about it is that they're all healthy. So that's, 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 my, that's my jam. And then from uh, Penguin Random House, I did get a book. And the book is The Middle Daughter by Chika Unigwe. There it is. That's what it looks like. And it says, Udodi's death was the beginning of a raging storm, but at that moment we thought that the worst had already happened and that life would treat us with more kindness. Ooh, so clearly it didn't. Okay, I don't want to read more, but thank you very, very much. I have not heard of this one, but uh, Ayobami Adebayo, who wrote... Um, not Stay With Me. Is it Stay With Me? I think it is. I'm not sure. I don't remember. She said, she blurbed it and said it was a memorable read. As well as Paula Hawkins, who is um, the author behind A Slow Fire Burning uh, and Girl on the Train, I think. Uh, she said Absorbing and Tender. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And from JBP, okay, they sent me a very nice package all wrapped up. And, oh, no, I remember what it is now. So when I opened it, uh, inside it, we've got flags. I use flags every day at work, for work, every day. Got a sticky note pen, and it says, writing prompt, a masked stranger appears at your front door with a knife. You can imagine, you can imagine, 
it already means something to do with writing. I remember what it is. And they also sent me a lovely notebook. That is so sweet of them. As someone who's constantly writing notes because of my job. Thank you, JBT. And I already knew what was in it because I wanted this book and I requested it. This is The Writing Retreat by Julia. If I seem a little bit eh, right now, it's because I'm sick. So I'm not really feeling the best. But it ain't, it ain't nothing but a chicken wing. And this is by Julia Bartz. <coughs> Excuse me. This is by Julia Bartz and it's The Writing Retreat. It says five attendees are selected for a month-long retreat at the remote estate of Rosa Vallo, the controversial high priestess of feminist horror. Alex, a struggling writer, is thrilled. Upon arrival, they discover they must complete an entire novel from scratch, and the best one will receive a seven-figure publishing deal. Alex's long-extinguished dream now seems within reach. But then the women begin to die. I really feel like jumping onto this. <laughs> I really do, but no, no. I'm currently still reading. It's been taking me forever, but I'm currently still reading uh, Frederick Bachman's um, um, Anxious People. I'm currently still reading Anxious People, and I've actually got you propped up on Shaggy Bane, which is a book that I picked up earlier this week, the 2020 Booker Prize uh, book, and... Uh, it's just a story that follows a really hard, uh, tumultuous uh, uh, upbringing of a child who is um, living in a household with a mother who is an alcoholic and who's abusive and all of that. And apparently it's just so incredibly well written. So I can't wait to read that one. Um, I was going to make breakfast, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Hey. So, I've decided to step out. I am stepping out. Got my laptop bag here. Got a couple of invoices to do. The power's going to go in the next 40 minutes or so. I'm thinking, I don't want to be home when that happens. Um, so, there's a kuai here near me. Uh, I do feel like having a nice little healthy breakfast. Okay? So, I'm not going to go to Starbucks or wherever. I'm just going to go to a healthy spot. Okay? and do a little bit of work and then I'll probably come back in the afternoon. I do have to pack up some of these orders and then they're going to get shipped out on Tuesday next week. So that's that's exciting. That's exciting. But outside of that, I'm going to go for my phone. Got my book just in case I don't come home immediately and decide to stop off somewhere else and read again. This is the book that I'm currently reading. Still reading it. It's, it's dragging, but it's such a good book. It's such a good book. It's just that, you know, good sis has been busy. Okay? Good sis has been busy. Uh, this is pretty much going to be the last part of this vlog. I'm making myself a green tea. Because I would like us to have a chat before I leave the house. Um, yesterday, you, you, you saw, you know, I went out, I went to Kauai, I sat there and I worked for a little bit. What you didn't see was that yesterday was the day social media was going off. My sister was trending yesterday. She's currently still trending, even now. And this is something that I typically do not like to talk about. I don't like to insert myself into my sister's affairs. And I do not like to... And, and it's, not, it's not by choice, okay? I don't insert myself because Naledi is the one who says, do not insert yourself because then people are going to come for you, then people are going to this, this, this. I don't know if Naledi thinks I'm weak or what. 
<laughs> but people coming for me, it's not something that scares me if it comes at the expense of having to protect my sibling. But anyway, so she'll always say, no, don't, don't, whatever, whatever. And I'll say, fine, I won't. And in most of the instances that my sister has been trending, it's unfortunate because a lot of the time that she does trend, she's trending because somebody has spoken out uh, about my sister and has has and my sister's been painted i'm gonna try and, and do this without having to cut clips or edit any part of this out and then i'm gonna close this vlog um so people will say things whether in videos or in in tweets or whatever to say that uh just horrible things about my sister villainize my sister and all of that now Having people speak negatively about us online is not a new thing for me and my sister. Um, shortly after our mother passed away, not shortly, a couple of years after our mom passed away, um, I don't even remember what it was for, but somebody was trying to drag us um, online because of some confrontation we'd had with another influencer. And that person, whoever that person was, started uh, hacking into our accounts and that person started um, creating uh, Instagram profiles where they would have our mom's picture alongside pictures of body parts and all of that. You get my chat. You hear where I'm going with this. So Naledi and I being bullied online is not new to us, but it doesn't necessarily make the bullying or the feeling that comes with being bullied any less just because it's happened so many times. So the gist of it is, if you've been following my sister and I online, um, you will know exactly what I'm talking about, especially on Twitter. Um, I believe all the other bloggers, blogs, entertainment bloggers and all of that have um, also jumped onto it and, and are talking about it, which is fine. It relates to an incident that occurred between Naledi and another influencer. And uh, this is something that it was reignited yesterday, but the, the whole incident in question is something that happened in 2019. So when I woke up yesterday in the morning, I realized that uh, my sister's trending. And a lot of the time when I see Naledi, I, Naledi trending, I used to think it was Naledi from the wife, right? So. A lot of the time when I'd seen a lady, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't check that uh, trend thread and all of that. But this time around, I saw a lady and I was like, oh, okay, let me check this. So when I did check it, <laughs> my darling, <laughs> my sister was trending. And immediately as I was checking it, my sister called me. She's like, yo, you won't believe this. This is back again. And I'm like, what now? Then we started following, following, following. And... Um, the point I'm trying to make is I entered, I entered it, okay? I entered my sister's endeavors, which is not something that I typically do. But the reason why I did that is purely because I got sick and tired of my sister being villainized on social media. If there's one thing about me, I'll call out my lady. I'll call her out online. I'll call her out behind closed doors. I'm not afraid to call out that little monkey okay that little uh, 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 Pikachu okay I'm not afraid to call her out I will call her out online and within behind closed doors right so when I followed what was going on yesterday and again the smoke that my sister was catching I said enough is enough because at the end of the day Yes, there's always two sides to every story. Yes, there's been many occasions where my sister has been wronged and all of that has been wrong and also wronged. Um, but because my sister comes off as this extroverted, loud, boisterous, energetic, what, what she is, she doesn't come off as that. She is that naturally. And a lot of the time, the person that she's being pinned up against is someone who's very soft-spoken or, you know, I don't deal with this kind of thing and has a bit of a twang accent, whatever the hell is going on. That's fine. That's not an issue, you know. But the problem is it's often the loud, boisterous, 
what what one who will often be villainized and seen as the one in the wrong because if i decide to be loud and express myself and actually say that no this is unacceptable i am not happy about this you, what you not going to do then if i do that i'm seen as violent as aggressive and i think we all know how how um catch spark how um how flammable the word aggressive is especially when you are a black woman okay but anyway so she would always have those terms pinned up against her and look in most of the cases she's always held her own how it affected her mentally no one has actually ever seen that except when she's spoken about it in her vlogs but in reality i'm the one who see sees it i'm the one who gets the calls late at night from my sister crying upset i'm the one that my sister uh snaps on unleashes on and literally just gets irritable with because she's going through all of these things that are happening to her online i'm the one who's looking for therapy uh, who's getting my sister into therapy blah 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 and making sure that she does therapy and uh, looks after her mental health and all of that i am the one who gets to see things like that people on social media don't right and that's fine they don't have to however i got tired of the the hun uh the hun being na lady catching smoke especially over this particular situation not only because it happened 4 years ago but she was frankly being lied on yet again and for me i was just like <laughs> Okay, we're going to pull out the East Rand. We're going to pull out the East Rand. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. <laughs> and uh, I inserted myself in my sister's business online. I do not regret that I inserted myself in my sister's business. I will do it each and every single time I am required to. I just got upset that people do not have the time of day to listen to... um the point of view that comes from the person who's seen as the more louder boisterous one whatever whatever people have every single time of day to listen to someone who's more softer who's like oh my god na lady is just you know she's trash na lady is trash she's this she's this we all know what my sister's been called online if you don't wonderful in fact if you know nothing about the story you are a wonderful person don't check it out don't try and follow it you are one of the 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 few people left in the world who concerns yourself with more important things in the world and that is good on you okay kudos but um the point is i just got sick and tired of it uh we haven't had the easiest track record especially my sister okay okay I'm more specifically speaking about her but even me I've had my fair share of people run their mouths about me which is fine but we haven't had the easiest track record with social media and social media content creators we've uh thought that we could make friends with certain sets, content creators and then we hear the things that they say about us behind our backs we thought we could at least then okay fine if we're not going to make friends if we're not going to make friends we're just going to be um um nice and cordial and 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 courteous to other creators while we out and about and then we'll also still find out that they even said this or they said this about your dress or your outfit or this that and the others and then or we'll try to make friends with creators and then we end up realizing that it's a one-sided friendship you're the one who's constantly reaching out saying oh okay let's do lunch or how are you how are you feeling um and then realizing that people are only going to reach out to you when they want something when they want certain information about something like oh the camera you're using or oh what um editing software do you use cat you know i'm trying to change my so they we realized long ago na lady and i that there's no authenticity in the content in the digital creator space especially in salva okay that's fine but my only qualm was that what we're not going to do is insult or what i am not going to do is sit back and watch my sister be insulted barraged triggered over something that she had put away locked away i cannot tell you how many times my sister wanted to do a story time about that particular situation and i said to her no and then she also said you know what actually no 
no, you're right, because I don't want then the victimization and the bullying and the, all of this that will happen online be directed towards this person. And now here we are. And because I decided to stand up for my sister, which again, I don't regret, because I decided to stand up again, uh, for my sister, sorry, because I decided to stand up for my sister, I was then barraged and called names and I was called, guys, the funniest part about it is that I was called a scammer child. I was called a life coach scammer first in my life. <laughs> Linnell Deliver on social media, the keyboard hungry people. I'm sorry. <coughs> so I was called a scammer and I was called a life coach scammer because I'm stealing people's money and this and that and the other and I probably have no clients uh, because da, da, da. <laughs> I got barraged. I got, and this was exactly what my lady was avoiding. And I said to her that I would do it over and over again. We need to remember when we follow influencers or creators or well-known people, public figures, speakers, this, that, that, and the other, that these people are also people at the end of the day. They also have lives. They also have feelings. They also have emotions. They also get angry. One of my friends was saying to me that, you know, it sucks now because you have to be careful about what you say online because of your career and being a coach and what have you. And I said, no, no, just as much as we have the sky and the sun comes out on a sunny day and it's great and the mood is wonderful and it's yellow. And then the very same sky will produce lightning and thunder. It's the same with people. It, it literally lives the same way. And at the end of the day, if I'm going to be called names and barraged and all of that because I defended truth, integrity, what's right, and my sister, do you see how I, I, I'm leaving my sister to last? Okay? I defended truth, integrity, what is right, and my sister. Then let them barrage me all day, every day. Because what I am going to do, or, or let them call me out, or call me a scammer, or call me a this, or call me uh, 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 wanting to, 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 to make it about me, when it's not. Anything that regards my sister, I will always insert myself. Even she doesn't have to ask me not to insert myself, or say to me, God, don't insert yourself. I will do it anyway. Anyway, <laughs> before I, I get nuts. The point of it is, I wasn't prepared, I am tired of watching and sitting back, respecting my sister's wishes and hearing her say, uh, Kathleen, don't say anything, don't get into it, don't da 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 da, don't da 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 da, and then have to sit and watch her get smoked the way she has been. Enough is enough. I will, in, in instances where I won't, where I can see Rash, am I? You hear she can fight her battles. I normally let her do that. And she did fight her battle and she, she did a stellar job, if you ask me. However, in instances where I feel like this is too much and I know what my sister is currently going through mentally, you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to stand up for her. It doesn't matter whether people think I'm a fraud, a liar, a scammer. Apparently not a fraud man, but anyway, okay. then it's fine. And that's exactly what I am. Okay, I've been talking for 15 minutes, so... That's gonna put this vlog on about 45 minutes, which is fine, which is fine. Because this part I am not, this is, did it the part, did it, never that, I think I'm gonna go high, never that. Anyway, so be kind to people, man, protect your heart, protect your space, protect your mind. Do not say things and then be surprised when they come back to bite you. That's a word of advice. Also, do not play victim when you know your role in the game. That's another word of advice. Also, have a wonderful day. <laughs> and if you're watching this and you're like, Gato, you're talking nonsense, I can't do this, I don't want to be a follower of yours anymore, whatever, you are welcome to unsubscribe. But this here mentality of mine is not going to change. And I would rather be a real, authentic, in integrity-driven, pushed, ambitious, all of that life coach. Authentic. Not a stare man. Authentic life coach. I'd rather be this than be one that smiles and is fake online. And then, no. 
I'm 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 the hard hitting ones. I am, I am. If Bonang Mateba could say Lindwela Maseba and know who Bonang is, oh yeah, I get. Then we all can do it. And for me, I along Because I will retaliate to it. But I ain't trying to do that, man. I'm trying to live a good life, man. I'm, I'm gonna, man. It's mental health month, man. It sucks that this needs to end on this note, especially given that it's mental health month. But it be like that sometimes. That's what it is, right? Life is like this. But be kind to people, man. Watch what you say. Be careful about what you say. Um, and sometimes if you've got nothing to say, say nothing at all. Say nothing at all. Okay? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me. If you did enjoy the video, please do me the wonderful favor of subscribing, following, joining the, the, the family, join the JK space if you are ever feeling so inclined. Thank you to all my members as well. And uh, I'll probably see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. And I'll see you soon.